Hey goofballs and welcome to episode 400 of Animal Cross- <laughs> Of Animal Crossing- Episode 4 I'm trying not to get it on the computer. <laughs> the computer. Episode 400 of Animal Crossing. Mom! Dad! Give me that! Give me that! Episode 400. <laughs> now the police are coming! Episode 400 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we did some. I know this is all behind you and the viewers can't see, so... <laughs> oh, what is going you. on? Okay. Put your head down, look. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was an, an unexpected. Anyway, uh, let's, let's redo my intro. Okay, uh, a one, two, three, and, uh... Hey goofballs, and welcome to episode 400 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we did some happy home paradise stuff. And in this episode, we will be doing a entire island tour. Anyway, let's get our uh, island-wide bro from Isabel. Hello, Isabel! Hello there, everyone! Right now on Jack Town, it's 3.40 p.m. on Sunday, November 21st, 2021. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Oh, you don't say there's nothing to talk about today. I think there's a lot to talk about today. Oh, yeah, did anyone else see that movie that was on TV yesterday? Is that one they play all okay. the time? Okay. Even though I've seen it a million times, I never see that final twist coming. I'm still reeling. Spoiler alert. What? Don't tell us! Oh dear. <laughs> there we go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. Oh, Isabel. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. And who'd have thought it was a sled? What? Did you spoil the movie? Okay, let's begin our island tour with uh the mail. Hold on just a sec, okay? Okay. Well, that was a really short sec. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of stuff. Let's get rid of the one from the Happy Home Academy first, because who cares about the Happy Home Academy? Anyway, let's start with Flick. Jack, patron of the arts, behold, my piece inspired by the noble damselfly. Sadly, my work can reveal only a fraction of its likeness. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. Flick. The arthropod artiste. We also got something from Red. Congratulations, Jack. On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red Treasure Troller, I'd like to thank you for your wise, and if I may add, final purchase of a wild painting right half. No refunds. Red, owner, and president. Ghosts. To the stone abs, trip. Sometimes writing letters is nice, because you can write things that you might not say out loud in person. Then again, I say almost everything out loud. Yours in soreness. Goose. A uh, co 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 A question for you, burrito. You know the way the sun goes away and everything gets real dark and boring? Well, how about if everything didn't need to get real dark and boring? Think about it. Good night. Clay. Another one from Jolly Red. Congratulations, Jack. On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red Treasure Troller, I'd like to thank you for your wise and, if I may add, final purchase of a tremendous statue. No refunds. Red, owner, and president. And last but least, Bubbles. How dare you? Let's get real cool card. Every outfit needs a centerpiece, a little pop of color that pulls the whole thing together. Accessories really are the workhorses of the fashion world. Well, accessories and buttons. Fashion first, bubbles. Oh, that's very interesting. Anyway, my pockets are too full to hold this, so I'll just grab it after I uh, put some stuff in storage. Oh, I have a lot of DIYs. 
Anyway, uh, let's see what we've got. We got a damselfly model. Flick was in town, so I decided to get a damselfly model. Looks pretty good. We also got another present, and this one is... Right, wild painting right half. Oops, you can't see it right now, but... We, we, we're gonna donate that to the museum later. Anyway, so next we have... Paper Lantern. It's the exact same as all the rest of the Paper Lanterns, which means it's very lame. Anyway, uh, so the next thing is Tremendous Statue. Now, this is a fake, and the reason I bought this is because, so, some of you may know that I just invited Red to Harv's Island, and apparently he can't restock on art until you buy buy a piece of art, and then that art is gone, and then he can restock. Mm. So, that means I'll have to buy a ton of fake art to get all the real ones, but still, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get me more real art than I usually get. Okay, I put some stuff in my storage, which means I can grab, um, the, the thing for bubbles. And I can also, uh, grab this new KK song! Yay! Let's see if there's anything interesting in Nook Shopping. Um, No, there's nothing interesting in Nook Shopping. Ooh, it looks like Bubbles gave me a hand-knit pouch! And this is just the, the, the song. We, we, we know what this is. Anyway, now let's properly start the tour, and we're gonna start this tour with the inside of my house! It's a, it's a really in-depth tour. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, here's the inside of my house. Beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, you may notice that this little part of my house, this, like, stairway area, is different, and that's because I found out there's a new button that lets you change what, uh, the, like, the stairway area looks like. So, yeah. That's, that's cool. Anyway, let's see what this new KK song is before we do anything. Boom! Pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool song. Uh, let's turn KK Comrade back on, cause that's uh, the one I want in this room. Whoa, what's and Freckles is coming to it's my. It's me, Freckles. I came to hang out so, and then I want money. Okay, so um, while we do the house tour, it looks like we have another person sorry that wants just, my house tour. Sorry for just showing up all announced and whatever I said. Hmm. Okay, you're for perfect timing, we're doing a house tour. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, my uh, gyroid wall. It's filled with all the best gyroids. Yeah. Anyway, uh, here are some fish and bugs, and here's my, my dog, and here's a... Uh, what? what? Zenzon stuff is so relaxing! You just chill out, close your eyes, and meditate! BT dubs. Meditating is the best. Touch calms me down! Okay, can I just... It's all fun and games till somebody goes home. I ain't saying goodbye, but I should head out. I want money! You just got here! Okay, I guess I guess see you because I kind you're kind of getting in the way of my tour. We have got to get together again sometime! And on that note, bye. Okay, um... Well, that was out of nowhere. Bye, Freckles. Anyway, this is my little baby. No, I didn't mean to turn those lights off. This is this house tour isn't going as expected. Anyway, this is my little baby thing in the bamboo, and it's really weird. Anyway, there's a recent Cyrus's wedding plate. Uh, and over the here is uh my desk filled with stuff, filled with stuff, filled with stuff. Anyway, there's all my fish models, my bronze trophies. Lava lamps, my huma huma nuka nuka apua a, and here's that little uh, bird thing, and here's the most important piece in my entire bathroom. Wait, no, wait. 
<laughs> my most important piece in my entire house, my bathroom. Or, you know what? The bathroom is the most important piece in the entire bathroom. That is kind of true. Anyway, it's just a bathroom, really. Anyway, um, that's really all there is to the first room. But, uh... We can go to the, another, another room, uh, the, 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 the next room, and that is the fancy room. Oh, how fancy schmancy. Here's Rover's briefcase, and uh, on the back wall there's a nice clock and some paintings, and here's some nautical stuff, including the shirt that I first arrived on Jacktown in. I, I just hang it up on the wall. Anyway, here's some nice, just nice stuff. Rover's photo, a trash can, um, a coelacanth with my golden trophies on it, and uh, a portrait of uh, Nate and Peaches, my two favorite villagers, a bear that I got on Tarantula Island, and uh, yeah, just a nice little fireplace area. That's basically that room in a nutshell. The next room is the kitchen, and all the tables are, uh, fish tanks, because, uh, I don't, um, have any good, uh, counters. Anyway, here we have my toaster, that toast, toast, just like all toasters do. Anyway, here's my little butterfly cup, and, uh, here's my microwave. Don't look at it, don't look at it. That isn't, isn't that a thing? You can't look at my grapes. I don't know. Anyway, here's uh, the first ever food that I ever made. And uh, I think it's gnocchi. I think that's what it was. Anyway, um, here's... Uh, so, this is one of the oldest things in... Um, in uh, on Jacktown, but... So, it's kind of dumb because most of the things in early age Jacktown were dumb, but my three cooks are uh, this giant water beetle which swims in the soup I think that's what I came up with then here's the head chef the snapping turtle I don't know what he does and I don't know what uh, she does either but she's the atlas moth I was really weird back then anyway we just have some normal kitchen stuff and that's that's basically it the next room is the up Stairs, which is my bedroom. So on this back wall is uh, where I um, keep all my golden tools, and I've actually shinied them up because uh, that's something I can I can do now. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it do, you do it because I've not really done this on screen. But you you, you go into this maid outfit, and then uh, let let's shiny this up. Sure. So. Uh, there, now it's shiny. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> anyway, now the proper tour begins. I don't I don't want to be a maid. Okay, anyway. Here's Ran and Goldie, my two pet goldfish. And then, uh, yeah, um, on the back wall, we have uh, just some, some nice stuff. I don't want to go into detail about everything, because we might be here until next Tuesday if I do. Anyway, um... Here's my pet frog, my arcade machines, some more gyroids on the wall, um, pinball machine. I, I think there's supposed to be something here, but I forgot to put it here. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, my, uh, ring fit adventure thing and my, uh, my Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch, my golden uh bug trophy my artisanal bug cage all my uh villager photos the photos that are of my face are uh placeholder photos for the ones that i haven't gotten so if only i'm only missing two i just just realized that we're close to getting all the photos anyway um here is uh my uh nightstand which is a mahi mahi tank and here is my bed and, uh, here's my toy helicopter. So, something I forgot to mention was, uh, Terry and Scorpy. So, Terry I got back when I was still living in a tent, which means Terry is actually older than this house. And, uh, Scorpy, I just, I just got him so Terry could have a friend. Yeah. 
Here is the last room in the house. It is the fish room. And you know what? How about I, I, I turn off my, my camera, I mean my face cam, go into first person, and not talk, and then just do a full circle around it. I feel like that's the best experience. Anyway, now that we're done with that, it's time to show uh, off the actual island. Anyway, over here is my my xylophone, my dogs. They, there's a bunch of dogs all over everything. And uh, yeah, just an area that is really nice. And it has a pool, uh, a, a cannon, and uh, a, a big fountain. And yeah, this place is just a hodgepodgey place, but I like it. And even Spaceman Sam's here. And, and a pillow that is like of my face so I can sit on my face. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, up here is the, uh, main town area. Well, not, well, not town area, I meant, uh, the, uh, yeah, it is kind of the main town area, isn't it? Anyway, let's talk to my favorite villager, Peaches. Hello! Pop boy, nice to see you! I forgot she called me that. I don't know why that that was her, her catchphrase, anyway. Uh, let's chat! I'm glad you're never too busy to check in with me, Spud. Of course not. And oh, you can hear the Jacktown jingle. Very nice jingle. Anyway, uh, let's go. Let's go this way first. <coughs> I feel like going this way first. Anyway, so uh, this is my little clay area, just filled with filled with stuff made out of clay. Here is my collection of leaves. I have the red leaves, the brown leaves, the green leaves, the yellow leaves, and more green leaves. Yeah, it's, it's a leafy area. Anyway, uh. Down here is my ring toss area, where uh, I taught where we try to toss rings, but you can't actually toss rings in the game, so it's more of just a for for aesthetics. But this also has a, a different purpose. This area, because this is uh, my uh, place where I uh, like uh, grow my gyroids, and any every time there's gyroids here, we have to sound the gyroid alarm. Actually, we've only sounded the gyroid alarm once because uh, it's, it's a pretty new feature, but let's do it now because it's gyroid time! And I have a list of all of the gyroids I have yet to, uh, to get. So, uh, yeah. If we get any new ones, I'll check it off the list. But first, I guess let's talk to Sky. Oh no! I hit her with a shovel! It's, okay, let's talk to her, not hit her with a shovel. Sunflower, long time no see. Oh, sorry. You must have been really busy lately. Feels like ages since we've talked. Oof, sorry. Anyway, now it's time for gyrites. Let's see what we got. We got a babaloid. Do we have the babaloid? Wait a second. That's a new one. Oh, yeah. Can we get all new ones? Probably not, but we'll try. Okay, what's the next one? Gyroid number two, it's going to be A. Wait, is that new? Wait. Yeah, it is new! <gasps> there's th right, there's three gyroids, because it's been a while since I've uh, dug up gyroids. So can we have all three of them be new? Oh, the moment of truth. Clatteroid, is that new? Yes! It's new! Yes! All three of them were new, baby! Oh, yes! Right, here we are. We're gonna play some gyroids. Oh, yeah, excited about this. Right, we have the Babaloid first. No, that's not new! No! Wait, then why did I put it on there? That was the Bubble 
Babyloid that I accidentally scratched up. Not the Babyloid. Dang it! I was so happy! Oh, well. At least that one's new, and it looks like a, kind of like a glass. A, like, it looks like it's made out of glass, kind of, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, we have uh, one more one that is new. This one. Yeah, and that is definitely new, too. Whoa, look! That's, that's cool. That's cool, bro. Let's look at him. Yeah, they're really nice. Oh, I wish that one was new. Anyway, we're back to where we were. Down here's a little garden area. Yeah, just a nice little garden. That's it. Yeah, just a nice little area right here. And this is the month garden. So, uh, like, every, uh, every month, for like the first year of Animal Crossing, I added uh, something to each one of these pedestals that best represents your represented the month. So uh, March was the Nintendo Switch because that's when the game came out. Uh, April was Bunny Day. May was when I got my perfect town. Uh, then uh, June was my birthday. July was when I completed my first museum exhibit, which was the uh, fossil exhibit. Um, August is when a certain dragonfly came to the island. We'll, we'll, we'll get to him later. Anyway, September is when I made a new law that anytime you say the word bug, you have to say it weird, like bug. Not much happened in September. Anyway, October was Halloween. November was Turkey Day. Uh, December is when I got all the fish. Uh... January's was when I got, well, not when I got, I mean, uh, New Year's, and then February was Festivale, and that's, that's the month garden. Over here we have my drive-in theater. It's pretty cool, even though, uh, no nobody drives cars around here. It's, it, it's still nice. Anyway, down here is the shop where I buy all my stuff. So this is where they keep all the things that I sell to them. This is the ABD, this is uh, the cookie cart, and yeah, let, let, let's look inside the shop to see if there's anything interesting, shan't we? Anyway, let's see uh, if there's anything good. Oh! What is that I see? Well, that lantern's cool, but Oh, I like the look of this. Flower display case? 13,000? Right, I don't have enough for it now, but I have some stuff in my pockets that I can sell. So I'm gonna sell it and see if that's enough. So uh, we can sell all of these DIYs. Cause, wait. Do I have that? I might not, so I'm, I'm just going to be play it safe and not sell it. Anyway, we also got uh, a sea bass, two sturgeons, and an ocean sunfish. So, I went to a Cap'n Island off screen, and it was summer on that island, so I caught an ocean sunfish. That's why I have an ocean sunfish, because ocean sunfish aren't uh, around now. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of money. Money. I can definitely buy this, and I want it a lot. It looks really cool. Look at all those flowers. Boom, got it. Anyway, I also want to see, can I buy the ceiling lamp? It looks pretty cool. Right? Yeah, I, I definitely want to buy that. It's worth, I think it's worth the money. Anyway, uh, anything else interesting? No. Anything in here? Just want to check. Ooh, there's a pinwheel, but... We have pinwheels. Anyway, anything else interesting? No. Anyway, that's the shop! Now that we're out of the shop, it's time to go to the, um, Mario section. So there is an, a mini game incorporated into this section, but, uh, we've never played it. So, uh, yeah, we're, 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 we're still, um, we're still waiting for me to decide when I want to play it. Anyway. So yeah, it's just a nice little Mario area, for, uh, Mario area filled with some Mario stuff. A Goomba cutout so you can become a Goomba. 
just basic stuff. And you can also become Mario. I have very good drawing skills in this game. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's my little junkyard area. Here's my, uh, my, um, orchard. Up here is, uh, the, the bee, the bee uh, area, the, the beekeeping area, the, 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 the treasure chest with bears guarding it, and we have the restroom area. Yay! And we also have, uh, the giant ter ter termite mound, the, 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 the pier, the little pier, well, that's not the pier, but I mean, like, a I don't know, just a little fishing area. And up here we have a fortune teller, which is also a anatomical model for some reason. I don't know, I'm weird. Anyway, and here's just a nice little relaxing area. Anyway, uh, there was something else I wanted to show you, but I forgot what it was. It was down here, I think. Ah, eh, whatever. I can't see anything else. Oh, right! There! That's the thing I wanted to show. It's my, uh, sea serpent. There, I, I, I showed it. Here is Jack's Park. Well, this is just the entrance to Jack's Park. Uh, Jack's Park is the part above it. Anyway, it's a nice little zen area for the entrance. It's really nice. Anyway, here's Jack's Park. Here's the little playground area for all the little kitties to play. And there's a, a slide, a, a bear, and a a swinging swing. Well, of course it's swinging. It's swing. And there's also a rocket ship. Oh wait, Sh should I change? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I don't need to do that. Anyway, you can become one of my favorite villagers, Nate. Hi. And uh, you can also get eaten by an alien. Yeah. Really nice. Anyway, here's Cotton Candy Island. Mmm, yummy cotton candy. Anyway, here's the dance floor. Yeah! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's the teacup ride. And over there is, um... Is... Well, it's supposed to be the fight between a giant robot and Godzilla. But the thing is, uh... I don't have the robot statue, so now I'll just... It's just, it's just Godzilla. Anyway, here is a little, um... Mini representation of what it's what it looks like, or what it will look like once, uh, I, ha I, I get the robot. Anyway, uh, up here is, um, just some more stuff. There's an ocean sunfish, a fountain, some nice little rocking horses, a diving board. Well, it's not really a board, but it's just a place where you can dive. And, a uh, nice little seat so you can look out into the distance. There's also a sandbox, uh, a fossil of a Dunkleosteris, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, here is a, um, a, a puffer fish, the most amazing puffer fish that could do this! So cool! Anyway, here's Outhouse Island, where uh, you can uh, drink water, and uh, then you can go to the bathroom. It's a win-win situation. Anyway, over here is the nice little RC car area. The um, and just some just some random stuff. I there's there's stories behind plenty of these things, but we'll we'll be here all day if I tell the story to everything. Here is my rainbow garden, but the, the, the blue flowers have uh, grown out a little, so now there's no space for the green flowers, which is okay, because I don't, I don't have any green flowers. I mean, any green flowers available. I have green flowers, but they're not available right now, and I just... Yeah, it's a big, uh, it's a big mess. Anyway, this area is just kind of like the area just for random stuff. There's not really a theme to this area, just, just random stuff. Oh, except for this. This is the model museum. Uh, I'm on a quest to get every single model from uh, CJ and Flick. So yeah, um, 
This is uh, where they're going to go in this big museum house thing that is uh, filled with models. And uh, yeah, this isn't even a fraction of the amount of models I've got. A lot of them are in uh, the storage. But yeah, here's a here's a good view of some of them. Yeah, it's kind of impressive when you think about it. Over here is the garden. So yeah, I'm trying to get one of every, no, not one, two of every single flower. And uh, yeah, this is where I put them. Yeah, it's a pretty nice place. Anyway, here is Jiagra Falls featuring ducks. Really proud of this. Especially the ducks. I I, uh, I, I have a thing that I, I really like ducks. So yeah, it's a big deal with the, the, with the ducks. Anyway, over here is where I keep some of my bug stuff. My bug stuff, sorry. And uh, here's the toy area. Where there are a ton of uh, toys to play with. And then over here is the cliff side restaurant. Now this is one of the... This is one of the first things I ever made, and it's still pretty cool when you think about it. It's a nice little cliffside restaurant with food and nice everything you can ever wish for. It's, it's pretty nice. Anyway, here's the the fossil area. It's just an area filled with fossils. It's not a big deal. Anyway, here is the clothing shop, Able Sisters, which is a... Uh, I haven't gone to this shop in a very long time. So, uh... Yeah, let's see if there's anything new. Anyway. Hello, Mabel! Anyway, there's there's not really uh, anything good here, but we, we can show it off. Oh, right! Here's the, some of the custom designs that I've made. They're, they're, they're pretty nice, and this seems like the perfect time to uh, show off some of my wand outfits. So this wand outfit is normal Jack, the one that I'm wearing, but there's also uh, Frog Jack. Egg Jack. There's also a uh, Fisherman Jack. And there's also Funky Jack. And there's also a uh, Hot Dog Jack. And there's also a uh, Le Jack. And there's also a uh, Green Batch Jack. And there's also a uh, King Jack. But uh, for now, let's just go with just normal Jack. Anyway. Let's move on to the next area, this place. Um, so this is the Firework Observatory. This is where you go to observe all the firework, fi the fireworks. But there's no fireworks right now, so it's kind of lame. Anyway, here's the top of Jiagra Falls, featuring ducks. Yeah. Anyway, there's a secret down here, because you can actually climb down here. And then get to my little secret hideout. It's pretty nice. And you can uh, use a ladder to get down here. And then there's even more secrets. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a nice area for relaxing, chilling, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, over here is assistance house and uh yeah there's some stuff outside that anyway uh let, uh let's go inside and see see what assistance doing let's see he is oh he has cockroaches and um yeah he has dogs and haunted paintings and you know what how about you just look at this for yourself? I'm not going to explain this. You can just explain this for yourself. Anyway, here's where the Beatles perform. Except uh, only one of them is a beetle. This one. The rest of them are uh, other uh, creatures. Anyway, here is the Pit of Fun 1.0. We'll, we'll go on what the Pit of Fun 2.0 is later, but... This is what it is now. This is what it, the pit of fun used to be. And, uh, yeah, there's a turtle down there now. And anyway, we'll go on with what the pit of fun is later. But, yeah, it used to be that, and now it's a bigger thing. Anyway, 
Over here is the graveyard. And, uh, the spaceship. And, uh, down here is, uh, my Valentine slash whoopee cushion area. Excuse me. Here is the fish shop. Here is, uh, the Halloween area. But before we go to the Halloween area, why don't we go down here through this little section and, uh, yeah, back here is where the Red Beach is. And, uh, there is, uh, the King of Jacktown, Mr. Long Locust, and the Secretary of Jacktown, uh, um, Madagascan Sunset Moth. And they're both, uh, wearing horseshoe crabs. Don't ask. Anyway, now let's get to the Halloween area. Yeah, I'll just let this area talk for itself. It's, uh, just the Halloween area. Pretty nice. Anyway, now that we're done admiring that area, it's time to go up these stairs into uh, this area. This is just a little nice garden with some hybrid flowers. The Venus's Flower Basket Brothers, which uh, were two Venus's Flower Baskets that I caught at like the same time. Anyway, here's my little fish pond, my little uh, restaurant, my floral restaurant, and uh, down there is uh, Watering Can Island. And uh, up here, is like the campsite area for the campsite. It's been overgrown by flowers, but it's still pretty cool. Anyway, uh, down here is uh, where my potatoes are grown, where my tomatoes are grown, where my sugar cane is grown, where my, uh, pretty sure there's something else down here. Uh, yeah, where my uh, wheat is grown, and also where there is a cicada, the cicada area. So you sit here and then just listen to the cicadas. That's it. Anyway, here's the cicada gift shop. You can get yourself your very own cicada shirt, your very own cicada hat, or your very own cicada shell. Anyway, here is my vault filled with my favorite things. So, uh, there is, there are, uh, high security here with the, uh, crabs. Anyway, uh, we have, uh, golden rose crown, silver bug trophy, silver fish trophy, silver HHA trophy, golden dung beetle model, golden arowana model, golden cat, and royal crown. Those are my favorite things. Anyway, uh, so, uh, here's the Sanrio area filled with all my Senrio items. And it's uh, pretty cool. Anyway, now let's get to one of the most important parts of the island. Remember when I mentioned the Pitifon 2.0 and a certain dragonfly coming to the island? Well, this is the Pitifon 2.0. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what's going to be in there. You're in there. Oh! There's urine in there? Oh, no, I don't there, want that. that. That's gross. Urine? No! I meant you are in Oh, the it's me, because that's where I live. Good, because I don't want anyone... Anyway, anyway, it's a nice pit. Thank you. Anyway, this is the King of Fun. The King of Fun, uh, he uh, rules over all things fun, and when things are boring, he makes things not boring. And well, there's I try anyway, you know. It's what, it's what you can do. It's and, uh, fun. Yeah, and it's a living. Here is the uh, Wheel of Fun. If you look behind uh, the King of Fun's cousins, which are definitely a thing, you can see the Ant of Fun. Say hi, Ant of Fun. Hello! And uh, down here is the Guard of Fun, guarding the King of Fun. Hello! They both have the exact same voice. We don't sound anything alike. I don't know why you keep saying that. <sighs> okay, anyway, uh, uh, we also have the Prince of Fun and the Jester of Fun. Hello. Hello! Yeah, they, um, they're there. And anyway, we also have the Cage of Fun, where we keep the Beast of Fun. 
And I'm pretty sure there's also a villain of fun in there. I don't know. And here we have the octopus of fun that is also uh, just guarding there. And everyone forgets about the octopus of fun. Anyway, here is the ultimate popcorn machine. Of fun? No, it's not. A, this one's not. A, this one's not fun. It's just a popcorn machine. There's a lot of popcorn machines. Yeah. It's, can one of them be of fun? Okay, fine. This pink one can be the popcorn machine of fun. That means I can have all the popcorn, because I'm the king of fun. Okay, sure. Here is the wrestling arena, where in this corner, Goliath Beetle! And in this corner, Atlas Moth! They brawl. Anyway, uh, yeah. That, that, that's it. Anyway, here's a nice little picnic area. And up here, we have, um, a little black cat shrine. I don't know why. Anyway, here's the pot of nothing at the end of the rainbow fish. It's, uh, pretty weird. Anyway, uh, here's the original pet shop. There was, I've made plenty of pet shops, but this is the original one. Anyway, uh... I remember there's something down here that I wanted to show. And, uh, that was the clothing store, I believe. Yeah! Here it is! Anyway, the back is, uh... Uh... Just random clothes that I made. The, uh... Second row is clothes that is referenced to, uh... Different pieces of media. And, uh, only one of these clothes that I made. The rest of them, uh... We just downloaded using the QR codes. And anyway, the one that I made is the Goomba shirt. Nice. Yeah. The rest of them are uh, the the Mario. I think this is Doctor Who. I think this is Star Trek. I I don't know. Those two those two assistant got for himself, but I, I, I don't so I don't really know if that's right. But anyway, this is a Jedi robe, a Harry Potter robe, and yeah, that's um. That's that row, and anyway, the third and final row is stuff based off of animals, and, uh, only one of them I didn't make, and that's the one that looks good, the scorpion jacket. <laughs> the rest of them I made, because, uh, you know, they don't look that good. They don't look good. Anyway, this is a, uh, area that is, like, supposed to simulate a villager house, but on the, like, if it was outside... So yeah, this is what a this is what a, a villager house would look like if it, if all the furniture was outside. That house rocks. Yeah, it's on a giant rock. Ha ha ha. Anyway, here's the garden eel garden, and uh, here is the Jackasaurus version two, number two, because it's made out of poo. Yeah, I made my own dinosaur and it's made out of poo. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, there was a message bottle. So I'm going to open it. And a stone table! I think I just sold a DIY about this. Yeah, it's not new. Anyway, here's musical chairs. And over here's the pier with Cap'n. We don't need to do a Cap'n Island right now. Just say hi, Cap'n. Hi, Cap'n! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Anyway, um, over here is, uh, the place where my, uh, Dogs are playing with this egg. And over here is the Jacktown Poetry Society um, meetup spot. Yeah, it's nice. I'm pretty sure Sky and Peaches are the only members, but it's still nice. Anyway, over here is the Sturgeon of Jacktown. Over there is the very annoying Sturgeon of Jacktown. One second, okay. We're pausing the tour for a second. I gotta catch the sturgeon. Okay, I caught the sturgeon. There. Boom! All done! Now uh, we can uh, continue with the, the tour. Anyway, this is a garden, but it's a bit overgrown. As you can see, it's grown all into this little park I made. So now it's just... It's, it's just kind of filled with flowers and it's kind of weird. Yeah, I have to fix that. Anyway, here are my mom's fish that she's forgotten to pick up. Like, uh, like, 
I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I, I caught them and I, I was going to give them to her, but then uh, she never picked them up. I, I think that's the story here. Here's a nice little sitting area for sitting. And there's a secret passageway into the romantic dinner place. Yeah, it's just a romantic dinner place, really. Dine, dine, dine. Anyway, this is my mom's house. Mom, open up. FBI, open up. It's time, Mom, to, uh, yeah, see what she's been doing. Oh, right, I forgot. Um, I pranked her and put my face over her wall and floor, and, uh, she never, uh, she never, uh, undid the prank, it looks like. Anyway, so this is her, like, fish room. She just put a bunch of fish in. This is her bedroom, which is filled with jelly bellies. Wait, what did we call them? I remember me and Mom had a special name for these guys. Like the, the the moon jellyfish. Oh, Mom just reminded me. They're bloop bloops. That's what we called them. Yeah, um... Yeah, it's just, it's just a nice bedroom with a lot of bloop bloops and a lot of, a lot of dogs. Last but not least, this is her, uh... Thanksgiving area. Oh, right. Even this area has uh, my face all over it. I didn't notice that, but um, I pranked every room in her house, didn't I? Uh, this would look a lot nicer if it wasn't for my face, honestly. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just a nice little area, really. Anyway, that's my mom's house. So, uh, yeah. Next up, the, the town area. So this is where all ten of my villagers hang out. Yeah, it's a pretty nice area. Anyway, uh, here is uh, Gonzo, the kiwi-loving uh, koala. Skippy, where are you been? I ain't talked to you in my world. How long has it been? I don't know. We're glad to know we're still neighborly. Stop by again soon, all right? Okay. Anyway, here is the original Dak... Jackasaurus, so you may remember earlier, the Jackasaurus 2. Well, this is the da original the Jackasaurus. Anyway, uh, down here, oh, another, well, over here we have Sturgeon of Jacktown version 2. Yeah, one second, I just gotta catch the Sturgeon. Caught it! Boom! Sturgeon time! Nice catch, Skippy. Wonder if it can perform sturgery. Uh, <laughs> I just made that up. I'm so clever. You just made that. Okay, whatever. Anyway, here's my area where I sing about homework, I think. Yeah, I was really weird back in, uh, I'm pretty sure September. I'm pretty sure that's when that happened. Anyway, before we go into any of the villagers' houses without, um,. Asking them if we can come over. Let, let, let's take a nice look at this little plant area. And it has a secret. I jump into the area. And I go to my super secret tarantula and scorpion room. That's right. Oh, no, not the lights. I didn't mean to turn on the lights. I meant to... Turn into King Jack, the king of the scorpions and the tarantulas. Um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, wait, let's see. Uh, where is it? Ah, ah, ah! I don't see. It's a nice little area with, uh, some scorpions and tarantulas. And there's a never before seen addition that I have never shown on screen. But I also have a chainsaw. Oh, that's very menacing. I know, right? Anyway, if you go through here, this this little area here, then I can spy on anybody that is in my house. Yeah. There's something fishy about that door. Yeah, there is, isn't it? Anyway, now let's check out some villager houses. So let's start with my, my boy Clyde. He said his clip clop. At least that's what he said when he uh, first arrived on the island. Now he says something else like 
I don't know. <laughs> anyway! <laughs> Clyde, hello! It's been a while since we've talked, I think, question mark. I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Okay. So maybe my jar of cornbread finally went bad. Don't know why I keep it in a warm, damp place. Anyway, in my dreams, we talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads, so I'm betting that right now okay. is real. Yeah, it is. Anyway, yeah, this is his house. It's a house. It's a stereotypical villager house. Anyway, moving on to the next house, which is... Okay, so Gonzo isn't home. Peaches isn't home. Nate is home! Nate, I've come to talk with you. Oh, he's crafting! Anyway, this is Nate's house, yeah, blah, blah, blah. He's crafting! Hey, sorry about the mess, but I ain't got time to clean today. What are you doing? I'm making me a wooden bookshelf. Out of wood. One of the books on the floor was some DIY okay. instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. What? You already know how to make a wooden bookshelf? <gasps> Doesn't everyone? That's real cool. You're always on top of things. I'm usually stuck under them. I want to tell everybody about the wooden bookshelf. Sorry, I scribbled down the recipe. If you know anyone who wants to know how to make it, can you have them this note? And maybe apologize for the cookie grease. I much on the middle part. Okay, that was fast. It'd be great if a bunch of folks made a wooden bookshelf. Out of wood. Looks like Clay's home. And, uh, yeah, Freckles and Bubbles aren't home, though. So, yeah, let's go over to Clay's house. I'm pretty sure I gave him a dung beetle. And now it's just dunging up his house. I think that's what happened. I don't know. Oh, right, yeah. Look at how dirty this house is because of the dung beetle. Oh, look. Makes a very dramatic piece of furniture. Dung, dung, dung! Okay, Clay, just talk to me. Oh, hey, Burrito. I was just thinking about you and your dung beetle. Oh, I know it's your dung beetle. Hey, Burrito. Which one of these would you say is your favorite snack? Hi, Mom! Okay, ice cream, chocolate, or cookies? Cookies! Oh, me too. I love cookies. I like them soft and chewy. Ooh. Oh, and with a glass Ooh. of milk. So Ooh. yummy. Ooh. You and me ought to be cookie buddies. Okay, I don't. I didn't know that was a thing, but sure. Looks like Sky isn't home. Looks like Diva isn't home, and it looks like Goose is home. So let's talk to him, oh, Goose. Let's chat. Why do I sound creepy when I'm going into their houses? <laughs> Why? Anyway, Goose. Hello. Oh, it's Champ. How are you doing? We haven't caught up lately, bug man. Yeah, sorry. I saw you around the other day. You had quite a spring in your step. Have you been skipping leg day? No, no, I would never. Anyway, here's the first crafting bench I've ever made. Here is my festival area. Boom, 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 boom. And yeah, it's just a nice little festival area filled with festival stuff. Over here is the shark park. Just another like fish area. It's like it's like an aquarium. Like an outdoor aquarium. How much does it cost to park your shark there? <laughs> Ugh, it doesn't cost any money. Oh, oh, oh nice free parking, everybody, for your sharks. Just so you know. That's a very nice benefit of living on Jacktown. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Which, uh, so I've basically covered my entire island, but I still wanted to show off a, a different island that has some stuff in it. And that is... Cypress. No? No. Okay. It's Freckles Island! No, wait, just Freckles. Ah, this is the worst! I lost my favorite bag this morning and that is a huge problem! I can't carry my stuff in my arms! That is so last year style! I have to look on trend at all times, Kay! Want me to go look? You go look for me? That's totes fantastic of you, Super Jack! Good luck! 
Okay, I'll do that off screen. Anyway, the island I'm talking about, for real this time, is Harv's Island. Red is there. There's a lot of cool stuff there. I just want to show it off. Oh, right. This is the airport. I forgot to mention it. Airport. All islands have them. Here we are on Harv's Island. Yeah. So this is as a photo studio where I recorded my movie. That was pretty cool. Anyway, over here, we have an ABD. I only noticed this thing existed yesterday. Yeah, so you can get money here. Anyway, and here's the, uh, the main area. And of course, both of the paintings are, uh, well, I'm pretty sure this one might be real, but I already have it, even if it is real. I'm just gonna buy one while I'm here so it can restock, but... I won't lie, enough lies. Okay, 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 we, we, got, we got it, we got it, we got it. Anyway, uh, while we're here, I'm just gonna buy it so we can, uh, restock later. But, um, yeah, yeah, none of them are good. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's, that's Har's Island, that's it. Anyway, there was one more island I wanted to show off, and that was the Happy Home Paradise Island. And I've made vacation homes, I've made a school, and I'm just gonna show off, like, my, uh, my two favorite houses and the school. Not, not, not that much, but I'm just gonna show off some, some stuff just to, just so you can get a little, uh, vision of what I do with these vacation homes. Oh no, it's Nico. Hey, good to see you. You should say hi to Lonnie when you can. Wait a second, is that Leaf? Anyway, there's a lot of villagers, but what is Leaf doing here? Um, hello? I'm just gonna talk to him real quick. Do you have a moment? I'm hoping you can help me with something. I'm supposed to give a talk about flowers at the school year. Oh! Only problem is I can't find it. I hope this isn't too much to ask, well, <laughs> but could you guide me to this school? Well, coincidental, I was about to show off the school. Sure thing! I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I can't lead him around the island. I just have to... Just takes me there immediately, I guess. Oh, here we are. Oh, where is he? Right! But everyone's excited to learn about flowers, especially you, Jack. Let's get started. Okay, so I made two classrooms instead of just one, like a normal school should. And, uh, yeah, now some students are in that room, some students are in this room, and Leaf isn't even in the right room for me to notice him. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to talk about flower hybridization. It's the most special thing and the best part. It's easy. Okay. Let's say I have a yellow flower and I plant it by a red one in no time at all. I'd have myself an orange flower. Okay. It was rain, isn't it? Now I'd like to ask you a question. If you plant a white tulip next to a red tulip, what color tulip would you get? Let's see. Jack? Um... Pink tulips. You got it. Yeah, oh, God, thanks. Way, you can also get red or white tulips that way too. So it's all nice. of the all of the ones were right. <laughs> oh. Flowers really are amazing. There's so much joy in each and every one. Joy, I hope you'll spread to others. Everyone here will now be able to decorate with hybrid flowers in any yard they want. Isn't that special? Okay. Oh, he has a you picture. Can build a beautiful bed of happy flowers. Or even fill a yard end to end with lots of rare hybrid flowers. Okay. There are plenty of ways you can do it. If okay. hybrid flowers are placed next to each other, you can grow even rarer flowers. It's a worthy challenge. Okay. Alrighty, that's it. That concludes our lesson on flowers. Actually, one more thing. You can use the fruit trees or veggies you've grown. Try using all kinds of plants. Okay. And now today's lesson is over. For real this time. Okay. Oh, wait, I have one more No! Thing. Yeah! I can use hybrid flowers. I can use hybrid flowers now? I've been doing hybrid flowers since March of 2020. 
Oh, whatever. Yeah, anyway. No, it's official. Okay, sure. Anyway, here's the outside of the school. Let's go back in because we didn't really get a too good of a look. Anyway, here is the uh, the uh, the classrooms. There is a um a place to go potty there, and then uh, over here is a uh, one classroom about anatomy, and uh, this classroom over here it's about uh uh. Just the basics, I guess. And anyway... Boy, the lecturer in your anatomy class, he looked like a real stiff. He... But that's not the... That's, that's uh, just a model of a skeleton. Anyway... Well, he, he doesn't this have is much a teacher, and he doesn't do that much. He just walks around in the halls and doesn't actually teach any of the two classes that needs teaching. Well, it looks like they're very busy studying. Anyway, um... I think your teacher got hit on the head. Anyway, let's travel to uh, my uh, two favorite houses that uh, we uh, that I made. Anyway, so uh, let's see. What would be my two favorites? Ultimate Blue Be Beauty Salon, I like, and I also liked uh, I also liked the My Pretentious Palace. So let's go to those two. Let's go to the Pudge's one first. Here we are at Pudge's Vacation Home. Okay. Yeah. That's the reason I came here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is just a nice little really golden outdoor area because he likes all the riches and that sort of stuff. No, not much just talk about out here. Just, just plain old gold. Anyway, inside we have uh, some nice uh, sparkly stuff. He has his throne and it's just, it's kind of just sparkly stuff. But that's the way he likes it, so that's the that's the way it it is. Here is the ultimate beauty salon. Here we are at Penga's vacation home. Also known as the ultimate beauty salon. Also known as the ultimate beauty salon. Yeah. Anyway, here is the nice little beach area for you to like relax in. And then uh, over here we have just a nice little sitting area. Over here we have a nice little. Uh, a little uh, hot tub area, and uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. And then on the inside, it just gets even better. With uh, well, it doesn't really get better on the inside. It's the outside is the best part. But this part part's pretty nice too. It's just it's just some nice relaxing stuff and nice relaxingness, and it's it's just nice. That's it. Oh, she's spraying the flowers. It's it's just it's just cool. Anyway, this is the. This is the, 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 the area with the, um, with, where, where I get my jobs. Anyway, there's some stuff I might want to buy, actually. There's this. Uh, I want to buy that. And I also definitely want to buy this. This is just cute. So, yeah, um, just wanted to buy that stuff. Anyway, there's one last thing to do on the tour that, that, uh, we've, that I've saved for last. And that is the museum! The, probably one of my favorite places in the entire game. I'm just... I just really like the museum. Anyway, Blathers! Hello! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, dear <about> me. <laughs> hello, Jack. Yeah, hello. Welcome to the Jacktown Museum. I may be of service. Anyway, I'd like to make a donation, because there's an art piece. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? I would like to donate this... World painting right half. Ooh, unless I'm mistaken, and I am not, that is a wild painting right half. Okay. Ooh, my, but it is so much more of a wild painting right half than I could have imagined. That is weird. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care, Owl's Honor. Okay. Anyway, now that we've donated the, donated that thing, it's time to check out the enclosed and no, and check out the roost. Let's see what's here. Peaches is here, and she's having a cup of coffee. Hello, Peaches. Reviewing my schedule for the week over a cup of coffee really helps me put it all in perspective. Yeah. Anyway, she's here. Let's get a cup of coffee from Brewster. I was hoping I'd see you today. Care for some coffee? It's 200 bells a cup. Absolutely. Sure. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I forgot to mention off-screen, uh, Brewster gave me a, a cup with saucer. 
Yeah. Just a cup of saucer. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, but it was still cool. <coughs> Coffee. I brought this cup especially for you. Drink up. I'll do just that. Cool. Okay. Cool. Right! Mmm, that's the stuff! I knew I could count on Brewster to create the perfect blend! Oh yeah, baby. Thank you so much for that beautiful cup of coffee. Cool. Thank you very much for the 200 bells. Okay. Anyway, that's it. That's that's the cafe in a nutshell. Anyway, now it's time to uh, show off the rest of the museum, starting with the art exhibit. Oh yeah, it's like, this is my least favorite exhibit, so we're going to start with it. Anyway, so, uh, we have- Oh, Bubbles, what are you doing here? Long time no chat, cool card. Okay. I think we've both been so busy we forgot to talk to each other. Okay. Anyway, and here- And I forgot again. Oh. Anyway, here is, uh, just a nice little area with some statues- just don't look over there for your own good. Just don't. Anyway, uh, here's like a jolly painting. Some more very famous paintings over here. They're so famous that they have a, a cheap plastic rope in front of them. Anyway, uh, up here we have uh, a nice room with only one painting in it because I haven't got that many paintings. You should get a bigger painting. Yeah, anyway, uh, there's some nice photos over here. Well, photos, I mean paintings, anyway. There's a big rock head statue. And just some some nice stuff over here. Terracotta. Yeah, yeah, Terracotta Warrior. Anyway, some more paintings over here. Then down here we have just some more stuff. And this is the uh, wild painting right half. And Blathers, can you come over here and read this to me? I'm standing behind you even now. Oh, okay, that was creepy. Wild painting right half. November 21st, 2021. Donated by Jack. Folding screen of Fujin and Reijin. Ah. Tawaraya Sotatsu. 17th century. Gold leaf and ink on paper. This folding screen shows dynamic brushwork of Fujin and Raijin on a gold leaf background. It is thought to be the masterpiece of Tawaraya Sotatsu, an early Edo period artist. The simplification of the subjects is a style that was carried on by Ogata Korin. It's a style still in use today in the Rinpa school of Japanese painting. Okay, that's a lot of information. Anyway, that is the art exhibit done. Now it's time for the fossil exhibit. Anyway, here's the fossil exhibit. We have prehistoric jellyfish, prehistoric rocks, prehistoric mushrooms, prehistoric grapes, pre prehistoric cucumbers, prehistoric weeds, whatever this is, whatever that is, whatever that is, just a bunch of stuff that is too hard to pronounce. In here we have some uh, some actual uh, big creatures, like some sea creatures that weren't dinosaurs, some flying creatures that weren't dinosaurs, some actual dinosaurs, some uh, corpolite, also known as dino doo doo, and uh, over here we have. <laughs> Oh, what does my life become? Anyway, over here, we have some, some more stuff. Over here, we have uh, the the thing that is uh, showing, like, how the Earth, like, blew up and killed everyone. And then, uh, over here, we have the big meteor that is going to come down and kill everyone. And then, uh, yeah. On to the last room in the uh, exhibit. In this room, we have the mammoth, the 
Sabertooth Tiger, the whatever that's called, the whatever, whatever that's called, and the, uh, I don't know what that's called either. Bug exhibit time! Here we have the, uh, brown cicada, the giant cicada, and the robust cicada. Here we have the evening cicada, the cicada shell, and the walker cicada. Here we have the diving beetle, the giant water bug, and the pond skater. Here we have the Madagascan sunset moth, the monarch butterfly, and the Raja Brooks bird wing. Here we have the peacock butterfly, the tiger butterfly, and the Queen Alexander's bird wing. And over here, we have the common butterfly, the yellow butterfly, and the emperor butterfly. And then over here, we have the common blue bottle, the agrius butterfly, the ladybug, and the snail. And yeah, that's the, that's the, the, the butterfly room. One of my favorite rooms in the entire museum. Just nice and relaxing. Yeah. Here we have my pill bug, my centipede, my moth. Wait. They're not mine, the, the museums, but... They were mine before I donated them. Anyway, here we have the Orchid Mantis. Uh, then here we have the, uh... The meme. Bet you can't unsee that now. And we also have the Walking Leaf. Anyway, over here we have the Tarantula. Over here we have the Scorpion. Featuring the Dung Beetle. And, uh, over here we have the, uh... Wharf roaches and the hermit crab. The hermit crab you can't see right now. Here we have the rice grasshopper, the migratory locust, the long locust, the ants, and also, uh, oh my, my throat's getting a little itchy because I've been saying a bunch of bugs. Anyway, grasshopper, cricket, bell cricket, and mole crickets. A lot of crickets there. Anyway, up here is where all the science experiments are going on. With mosquitoes, fleas, paper kite butterflies, and normal flies. Over here we have the bridge with the banded dragonfly, the damselfly, the red dragonfly, and the darner dragonfly. A.K.A. Uh, the king of fun's uh, distant relative. Anyway... Over here we have the mud, which I can, uh, indeed, uh, sit in. Yeah. Anyway, here we have the Horned Atlas, the Horned Hercules, the Giraffe Stag, the Cyclometrist Stag, and the Violin Beetle, the Horned Elephant, and the Goliath Beetle. And then down here we have the Firefly, and then, uh, over here, we have the Mantis, the Stink Bug, and the Rainbow Stag. Uh, then we also have the Man Face Stink Bug, the Honey Bee, and the Tiger Beetle, which runs around on the floor. And it's pretty cool in that way. Anyway, over here, we have the Jewel Beetle, the Rosalina Batassi Beetle, the Citrus Longhorn Beetle, and the Giant Stag. Over here, we have the Saw Stag and the Miyama Stag. Over here, we have the Drone Beetle, the Horned Dynastid, and the Great Purple Emperor. Over here, we have the Bagworm, the Wasp, and the Earthborn Dung Beetle. And over here, we have the Blue Weevil Beetle and the Scarab Beetle. And over here, we have the Atlas Moth and the Golden Stag. And then finally, up here, we have the... Spider. It's time for my favorite exhibit. The fish exhibit. We have the killifish, the goldfish, the pop-eyed goldfish, the ranchu goldfish, the guppy, and the neon tetra, the betta, the nibble fish, the rainbow fish, the angel fish, and that's that tank. Anyway, Are those killifish anything like murder hornets? No, 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 don't bring those up. This is my 400th video. No things that shall not be named. Mm. Down here is the little pond with the tadpoles, the frog, the bitterling, the loach, the catfish, and also the bluegill, the black bass, the carp, the koi, 
the soft shell turtle, and the crawfish, the giant snake head, the gar, the pike, and the snapping turtle. And that's the pond. And well, here is uh, the, the, the tank with the big fish, including the piranha, the saddled beast here, the dorado, the arapaima, and the arowana. And the piranha really wants to bite me. Give it up, piranha. Anyway, over here we have the golden trout, the cherry salmon, and the char. Down here we have the freshwater goby, the yellow perch, the sweet fish, and the crucian carp. Over here we have the pale chub, the tilapia, the stringfish, and the dace. And down here we have the horseshoe crab, and the pond smelt, and the salmon, and the king salmon, and the sturgeon, and the mitten crab. And that's all the freshwater fish, but there are still some saltwater fish, including <gasps> the seaweed, acorn barnacle, sea star, turban shell, abalone, seahorse, blowfish, pufferfish, hammerhead shark, squid, moray eel, ray, red snapper, dab, Saw shark, olive flounder, dungeness crab, sea pineapple, kazami crab, octopus, oyster, zebra turkey fish, bard knife jaw, and the sea bass. And that's all the fish in those tank. Oh, that took a lot of breath. Anyway, you could walk through this tank, which is really cool. Anyway, down here we have the uh, the moon jellyfish or bloop bloops, and uh, over here we have the scallop, the red king crab. The sea urchin, the whelk, the sweet shrimp, and the sea butterflies. And there's a lot of fish in this tank too, so <gasps> there is the umbrella octopus, tiger prawn, sea anemone, sea slug, mussel, clownfish, sturgeon fish, butterfly fish, ribbon eel, napoleon fish, spotted garden eel, sea cucumber, spiny lobster, mantis shrimp, slate pencil urchin, sea grapes, flatworm, poil oysters, gigas giant clam, and the lobster. And uh, yeah, that's that tank. Anyway, there's one more room in the museum. The best room ever. Let's check it out. Here we are in the best room ever. Only featuring two tanks. But they are great tanks. With the Mahi Mahi, the Anchovy, the Blue Marlin, the Tuna, and the Giant Trevally. But we're not done yet. We also have the Whale Shark, the Suckerfish, the Horse Mackerel, the Ocean Sunfish, and the Great White Shark. So beautiful. But we're not done yet with that room. I mean, this room. Because we have this deep sea tank. And there's also diving equipment yeah anyway we have the snow crab the spider crab the flyer fly squid the chambered nautilus the barrel eye the oarfish the football fish the coelacanth the vampire squid the giant isopod the sea pig and last but not least the venus's flower basket and that is the museum Anyway, there's one more thing I wanted to do before we end this episode, and that is a montage of everything we've been doing for the last 100 episodes. Roll clips. Is that really it? Are you sure? That wasn't That's a boat. That's why I didn't want to do this challenge. Oh my. What do you... Okay, can you... W one second, people. Did you break something? It didn't break something. It knocked something over. Okay. Okay, so that is where the nativity, the gla expensive glass nativity scene is, King of Fun. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you hit that, and it almost broke. It didn't hit that. It almost it broke, baby that. Jesus. In this episode, it is an assistant's birthday, so yeah. Start! Come on! Rah! Rah! Four! Four! You got Fancy this! Smash it good! Hey, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Game on! Bash it good! Rah, rah! Game on! Go for it! <laughs> oh, disgusting. You did it! <laughs> you, it broke! Food on the floor again. Kiwi, kiwi, 
Kiwi, kiwi, kinda sweet and kinda seedy. Folks who know me want to be me, more so when I eat a kiwi. Well, you're looking mega. <laughs> you're looking mega elegant in your princess dress. <laughs> this is just a ruse, isn't it? I doubt I could pull. More. I doubt I could pull off that look. I don't. <laughs> I'm just... Okay, this is... Oh. Fancy, stylish type. You... You look great though, fish party! Look to the sky! With the dancing kiwi. Whoa! You were actually telling the truth! Look! The kiwi's there! I need to... Wait, wait, wait a second! Oh, 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 oh. Oh wow, look! It's there! Look at it, it's swimming amongst the other fish! Oh look, there's two of them! Today you start from the pier, and you have to get to the bench in Jack's Park, but you're not allowed to touch any shadows except for Bob. Wait, who's Bob? But Bob is your shadow! Look out! Uh, no! Why would you want no, to I didn't out? see the clown! <laughs> if you catch a sea bear instead of the oarfish, then the episode ends immediately. Wow, thank you, King of Fun. You didn't talk. <laughs> kiwi umbrella, kiwi umbrella. It's much better than a seaweed umbrella. They're really nice, nicer than ice. It's a kiwi umbrella. In this episode, it is my mom's birthday, and mom is actually joining me for this. Butter up! Go for it! Sweet, sweet, come on! Butter up! Sweet! Go for it! Four! Come on! <laughs> Four! Jeez. Go for it! I come ate. on! Smack it! Come on! Smack it! Oh, yeah. You did it, kiddo! And your prizes, birthday cupcakes! Today's fun challenge has to do with National or International Movie Day. You have to make a movie on Harvey the Island. One and two, three and four! Your hips, they do not move, they do not hear the music, they do not dance! Sorry, I can't dance while I'm talking to you. Yes, puppy dances, puppy plays, puppy swimmers, and such a festival of fuego! Yeah! Submarine! Uh, <laughs> <Zobarena>! Whoa! <laughs> we dance, we play, shout with puppy, we twist, yeah! we insist, don't look away, Viva! Festival! Oh, I think that might be it. Yeah, that is one. Look at that thing. That is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 you two, look. <gasps> what is it? What I the caught, heck is that? I caught the last Put it thing. back. Put it back. It's no, scary. don't you dare. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, I just tried to be casual. I was trying to distract you two, so you just look up and I saw it. Anyway, yeah, there we go. The entire Critterpedia is done. There Don't we go. Gift of Christmas. Oh wait a second, that's the wrong. I got a spider crab. Water bugs can rest easy, baby. Water bugs can rest easy, baby. What? What? Is it truly true? With this donation, our sea creature collection is now complete. Yes, it is. There it is behind the. Oh, there's two. Wow. Look at that. It's next to the snow crab. Look, there's two of them. Hey, King of Fun, how's that ocean situation going on? Oh, King of Fun! You're so fat! What are you... I didn't... I didn't actually... How mean, dare you! I didn't actually mean drink the entire ocean! I was just... Now you tell me! You drink the entire ocean! Right. It's okay. I haven't swallowed yet. I'll spit it out. Oh, no. No. Don't. 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 don't, don't. <laughs> Hello, hello, 
Oh, so you are our new resident models. Mm. Welcome to Jacktown. Here's a thing from Gulliver. Lucky Cat! Yes! I finally got the Lucky Cat! Anyway, there we go. No, no takey backies. I made a Lucky Golden Cat. Right, me, you, Dace. D D day song, okay? King of Fun? What? Yo, take that dace. Take it far away. Take it to another place, away from my face. I don't like dace. The dace is not cool. And I'd rather go to school. Dace, dace, send it into space. That's where it'll run, and it won't win the race. More. <laughs> Out in space, there's no one hears you scream. But <laughs> except when you yeah, see a taste, because it is not a dream. Okay, just, um, just okay. Just, just, just I cut, wasn't in cut, a frame of mind cut, to make up a cut, rhyme. Just cut. Ooh, oh, Jack! You're not supposed to. Sp Why did you do that? Oh. That's a punishment <laughs> for everybody this way. <laughs> Alright, just end I'm the sorry, episode everyone. and then go to the bathroom. Oh my! Oh no, no! That's gonna get for everything. <laughs> Hold your head still. Hold your head still and end the episode. Thanks. Well, you can't see it from where he is. What are you doing? Well, you can't see it from where he is. Oh, I can't handle it! Episode. It is the one year anniversary of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Zipper T Bunny. An ordinary bunny. But he's about to get in to one of the greatest adventures of all time. Zipper T Bunny versus Egg Jack. Coming soon to a theater near you. I can't wait. Come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's going on? Bill. Uh oh. What? Why? You know, you know, uh, just don't oh, care what are you, what, that. Why are you doing here? Yeah. You can sell this Jack. Me. And uh, you won't uh, let anybody else on his YouTube way. channel. You just, you just you can't. You, you have to be in the spotlight so I would all the way. Time. And now, and, uh, and, and, and now your viewers didn't even know I existed until now. Yay! Whoa. Hurry up. Or I'm swing. Whoa. So at. Better up. Smack it. Whoa. Better up. Swing. Better up. Get in there! Smack it! Do it! Four! You did it! It broke! Yay! Four. Mom! What? I'm so flattered! Oh, look at this! <laughs> you filled your entire house with my portrait, and you have a cockroach. That's about Ew, right. Ew, get away, cockroach. Yeah, that is about right. Now, what do we have here? Yours be a face I've not seen before. Yes, we know each other, Captain. You took me to Tortimer Island in New Leaf. Oh, there's a villager! Oh, it's Brewster! Oh, I wasn't expecting that! You out here looking for gyroids too? Yeah, I was also looking for you. Just look how cute it is. Just look, it's like it's like talking to me. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, look, he, we even get to see him make it, just like in the past game. It looks so fresh. It looks so spicy. Everyone, this is Jack, the person in charge of our custom vacation home. So yeah, we need to make vacation homes for randos. 
That would be a good name for the business. Glad you're <laughs> that, here, that, that would be a good name for the episode. There. Oh! 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 That is not going there where I can't see it. No, thank you. That is going upstairs. That is everything I've ever wanted in an item. I I love it. I love it. I... I, 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 I Hopefully that made sense to one of you. We're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of school that is cool! I, I should have called it THE school that is cool. Hey goofballs and welcome to episode 400 of Animal Cross. That was great. Anyway, that's where we'll be ending off this episode. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, I think I want to do some happy home paradise stuff. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. <gasps> Goodbye, you guys. You got me goofballs. <gasps>